Uh, and finally, uh, aphoristic form. So this might be, you know, a little, you know, sort of hard to work with, but um, I think it's important to to learn how to critically mediate and engage with uh, literary and rhetorical form. So with Nietzsche, he's really trying to, you know, condense everything to a very dynamic, asystemic uh, type expression. So aphorism is his main way of doing that. And the great example of an aphorism we have is The Greatest Weight, where he takes this hugely um, big philosophical problem and he puts it into this very, very tiny sort of expression and uh, it, it blows up into our head. And that's sort of the idea, right, with aphorism or with uh, parable, parables, a, um, you know, an associative form. A metaphor can be seen in this light as well, that it's something that is both condensing and dynamizing things. So we're getting away from the, uh, the lecture, the treatise, the novel, and uh, it's uh, addition through subtraction for Nietzsche. So, you know, you could look at how he creates this uh, form and what the, you know, what it looks like, how it's constructed, and what the effects are. Critical essay, uh, the genre, so critical essay, it's the standard one um, that, you know, you're going to practice throughout your undergraduate career, uh, so it's not a bad idea to uh, continue to work on that. Um, standard five-paragraph for format, uh, but if you uh, want to experiment with something else or you have experimented with something else uh, and you want to finish up the course with that, that's also a good way to go. So an intertextual dialogue would be where you would use uh, Nietzsche or a character from a Nietzschean story, and you would pair uh, Nietzsche, either the character or the author, up with two, two to three other interlocutors, which would be characters and authors from other texts that we've read during the semester. So this gives you the advantage of sort of ventriloquizing, that you're working with other voices. You're not... Uh, so much so dealing with Nietzsche directly, but you're having other powerful voices sort of mediate and engage with him. So you create a dialogue where they're talking about one of the topics and, you know, Nietzsche's giving his idea on things and then the other two interlocutors are dialectically engaging uh, Nietzsche, uh, challenging, contradicting his argument.